All right, in this lesson, we are going to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. All right, the key word is unlike denominators. Um, for number one, as you can see, that the bottom numbers are our denominators, and we see that they are different. Okay. So, in order for us to add these two fractions, one half plus one fourth, we have to get the denominators to be the same. So here we have a four, and here we have a two, right? Um, what I'm going to do to get them to be the same, I can make this two into a four by multiplying it by two. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply it by 2. So I'm going to multiply the bottom by 2. And the, a rule when you're multiplying the, the bottom by a number, you have to multiply the top by that same number. So the first part of this fraction, the 1 half, this part here, 2 times 1 becomes 2 and the bottom 2 times 2 becomes 4 and then I still have the plus 1 fourth there and now now if you can see that the denominators are the same we have 4 and 4 so now I can add this fraction now that the denominators are the same if you remember from the previous lesson, um, I keep the 4 and I add the numerators. 2 plus 1 is 3. So this is 3 fourths. Again, you change the denominators by multiplying. Okay, for number 2, again, we see that that's a 3 and that's a 4. Uh, this is this one's a little bit different because I'm going to have to multiply both of them, both the 3 and the 4 by a certain number. And the goal is to get the denominators to be the same. So if I multiply the 4 by 3, I know that 4, four times 3 equals 12 right and if I multiply the 3 times 4 I know that that's equal to to 12 also so um, that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna multiply the 1 third by 4 so I can get 12 and uh, the other side where the 1 over 4 is by 3 so you can get 12 so Again, if I follow the rules, you see here if I multiply by 3, I have to multiply the top by 3. Over here, if I multiply by 4, I have to multiply the top by 4. So, this part of the fraction becomes 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. Alright, I'm doing this fraction right there. And now the other half, right there, if I multiply that, there's a plus sign, okay, so we're adding. 1 times 3 is 3. 4 times 3 is 12. And now that, now we see that they both have a denominator of 12. They have the same denominator, so I keep the denominator and I can just add the numerator. 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. Um, Alright, and that's our final answer. On the bottom, we're subtracting these fractions. 7 eighths minus 1 half. In this case, 
I know that I can make this 2 into an 8 if I multiply it by 4, correct? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply that by 4 and the top by 4. I always have to multiply the top and the bottom by the same number. And the fraction, the first fraction is going to stay the 7 eighths. I don't need to change that. So I'm going to keep 7 over 8 minus, and this part, if I multiply 1 times 4, I get 4. And if I multiply 2 times 4, I get 8. And now I can see that they have the same denominator, right? So I keep the denominator 7, and I just subtract 7 minus 4 is 3. 3 over 8. So in some cases, like for example number 2, you have to multiply both of the denominators. In problem number 1 and 3, you only multiply 1. So that's the part where you have to decide um, if you multiply 1 or both. Okay. For number 4, uh, in this case you're wondering, well, do I multiply um, one of them or both of them? In this case, I'm going to multiply both. <clears throat> I'll explain a, a rule that always works. So if I multiply, now you might be asking, what do I multiply these numbers by, right? So um, one good rule is to multiply them by each other. So this 3, I can multiply it by this 5. So I'm going to multiply it by 5. And this 5, I'm going to multiply by by that 3. So I'll put 3 there. Okay. Um, so if I multiply that 3 by 5, I have to multiply the 2 by the 5. If I multiply the, the 3, the 5 and the 3, I have to multiply the top by 3 also. So the first fraction, this fraction right there, becomes 12 over 15. Right? 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 5 is 15. Minus... 2 times 5, 2 times 5, I'm doing this side now, 2 times 5 is 10, and 3 times 5 is 15. So they have the same denominator, right? 15, so I keep the 15, and I just now subtract the numerator. The numerator. 12 minus 10, 12 minus 10, is 2, so my final answer is 2, 2 fifteenths. Alright, so um, I'm going to add a, a bonus problem. Well, uh, the bonus problem is for, um, I, we can end the lesson there.